Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Cal Royal C430-P door closer. This is a very common door closer style. Modern design, very typical. Now this would be a, this is a 430, so that means that this is going to be a, uh, the 430 is going to stand for the fact that this is a smaller footprint body. Okay, this would be not the typical one for commercial doors. This would be for certainly a, a lighter duty or a lighter usage door. And the, 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 the that's kind of what the 4 means. The 30 is going to stand for that this is a fixed spring uh, closer, or number three is what this is going to be called. When you're doing door closer work, what really is important if you're replacing an existing one is the footprint size. And what that is referred to as the center of the mounting holes. So you can see that the, you can approximately see that the mounting hole centers about eight and a quarter. Closer to eight and an eighth, eight and three sixteenths. And that is the dimension from the center of this hole to the center of this hole. And then they're going to be three quarter inch vertically, uh, center to center. A little bit harder to see on the camera. But three quarter inch generally is what that is. Let me just get a better view of it. Yeah, three quarter inch. So the commercial closers, larger ones, are about a nine and a sixteenth on the footprint from center to here, center to here. So you want to watch out for that. But if you're doing something that is um, low usage um, and a fixed spring power is okay and it doesn't have to be handicap compliant, this closer would suit just fine. Um, but this would technically not be a handicap compliant closer. does come out of the box as a, tr uh, a, a triple mount or a tri mount. Uh, meaning the dash P part means that you're going to get the ability to install it as a parallel arm installation as well. So you can install the, the, arm, the closer with the arm in three ways. A regular arm mount, and those ways are shown uh, below this, uh, the link to this video, where the body is mounted to the pull side of the door, body is on the door and the arm is on the header, pull side mount, that's called regular mount or regular arm mount. You can also do a top jam and that's where you flip the closer over, okay, mount the body onto the header and then the shoe onto the face of the door, that part that's going back and forth there. That would allow you to install the closer in an, ex, in an outswinging application and the body is on the inside. Or you can do the same push side mount, but where you put the body onto the door and you incorporate the parallel arm bracket. And parallel arm bracket is by far the most common for a push side mount because generally you'll have a situation where you maybe can't attach the body to the header of the frame for a reason that is a uh, you know maybe a wood frame with casing or the profile of the frame is too small um, you know that those sorts of reasons um, screw package is going to be uh, included you'll be able to attach the body attach the arm attach the parallel arm bracket to the header several options on the uh, on the right side uh, of this page uh, at this video, the arm type. You can get this uh, with a hold open arm as an option as well where you can hold the door open. Um, cover, this can come with a plastic cover that will cover over the face of this to make it look a little more streamlined. Finish, it's available in several colors, uh, aluminum, dark bronze and gold as well, or Duranotic. Uh, the hand, this is technically not a handed closer so you can select any hand. However, I like to know the hand from the client in case we're incorporating this with other pieces of hardware that might complicate the opening and cause something to become handed, I do like to know that. But if, if all you're ordering is this, you can select any hand. Uh, f a flat drop bracket that would allow you to install um, the closer on a situation where, let's say you had a big piece of glass 
in your door, okay, and there wasn't enough room to get the body attached to the face of the door, you would use a drop plate. You'd attach that to the top rail of the door, then the body of the closer would mount to the bracket, to the drop plate itself. And then, of course, the screw pack, you know, typical screws, or you can get it with sex bolts or with through bolt and grommet nuts as well. Sex bolts are very common, and if you're dealing with, a, if you're using a hollow, this on a hollow metal door, or even a, uh, certainly a wood door as well, sex bolts are always a real good idea, meaning that you're going to through bolt it through the, through the door. Um, um, for a regular arm or a parallel arm, you, that, that's a very good idea to consider. Links below this video are to the door closer installation instructions and the template. Um, absolutely follow that stuff. And, and really all you're going to be doing is, you know, determining where exactly your first hole is going to be. Then you can locate your other holes. But it's critical that you get that correct um, both laterally and vertically. If you're off laterally, what that's going to determine is kind of the degree of opening. Um, and it's really important if you've got a hold open arm that you lay this out in the range of what degree of opening the closer is going to be expected to operate uh, within. The vertical dimension is really even more critical because you've got something that's going to be connected to the other end of your assembly. If this is on the door, this is going to be on the header, uh, you know, and vice versa. So if you don't get that dimension correct, you've got only a very small margin of tolerance that all this is going to be expected to work comfortably in. And if you've got it where it's too big, your arm's going to be like this. If you've got it too small, you'll hear the arm basically drag across the top of the, uh, of the door. Uh, and that's a problem. And once you drill these holes, you're kind of you're stuck with all of that. Um, if you're going to do a lot of these, uh, closers in an installation, and they're all the same, make yourself a template. Get a rectangular piece of wood so you can put it up into the corner of the door or the frame or whatever you're doing and just be allow yourself to mark your holes and then center punch your holes. Take time on the first one uh, and then the rest will be a breeze. Putting on door closers should really be an easy and quick uh, situation um, and it generally is. Or you could even go a step further. I even made uh, sleeves for the top of the door where I rest it on the top of the door and I could mark both sides if I was through bolting because you don't want to drill through the door. That never works. Your drill bit's always going to be at an angle. Um, you know, tips and tricks like that to make the installation even uh, easier uh, is always a good idea. If you have any questions on the uh, CalRoyal C430-P door closer or any other CalRoyal product, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.